Welcome everybody. So I'm up here on the roof today doing a little bit of maintenance, cleaning off the solar panels, making sure that uh, there's no obstruction on them, there's no leaves or anything like that on them, getting all the dirt and debris off of them. So I figured I'd do a video since I haven't done that yet on what we're doing for solar out here off grid in Belize. So we have a 5K solar watt system is what we have. We're using the EG4 off grid unit, split phase 120, 240, which has been, it's been an excellent, excellent unit for us. So let me tell you first what we're running off that unit and then I'll go into more of the particulars. So we run mini split air condition, water pump, fridge, Wi-Fi unit, computers, TV, coffee pot, rice maker. Uh, we charge our cell phones, charge the batteries for the cameras, uh, all the little odds and ends. As far as for having to cook our food, that's done on gas as well as our hot water. So that's what we're running right now is a 5K system. Now, of course, we were told to go bigger. That's what we were told is that you need to go a lot bigger, but for budget reasons, it had to be the 5K system. What I've learned with the 5K system is that it's adequate for everything we need and we can actually still add to it. So it's actually a little bit more than we actually need at the time for what we run. But like I said, we don't have an electric range. We're not using air fryers, anything like that. Um, I have a 20K battery bank is what I have right now. So after reading all the reviews, it seemed like the EG4 at the time, which was about a year ago, was getting the best reviews that I could find on line watching videos and a lot of people were going into a lot of in-depth and detail uh, one of the things that i really liked about it is it had a built-in battery charger so that was less that i had to put on a wall and deal with the wires and all of that other stuff so that really worked out the unit has been phenomenal like i said i have 12 410 watt panels is what we're running right now and like i said it's really more than enough um, I guess it's just going to come down to when you're doing solar, you really got to figure out what you're going to be using. Uh, if you're going to be using things like air fryers and the electric range, those things take so much power. So you're probably going to want to go more than a 5k system. Uh, Cause even during the day, something like an air fryer or an electric range or an electric dryer, it's going to pull a lot of Watts out of that inverter. Uh, so like I said, we don't have any of that. So this works perfect for us in our off-grid situation. Uh, one thing that I did do is when it comes to the fridge, uh, I played around with it a, a little bit. Um, the batteries from running the fridge and the ceiling fans overnight would go down to about 46, sometimes it'd be in a low 47 range. Um, and so I started playing around with it. Now keep in mind, we also, we do not run our air condition here at night because we're up here in the mountains. It gets really, really cool here in the mountains, even in Belize. Um, so I started playing around with the fridge and what I ended up doing is I, I put our refrigerator on a timer. So the fridge goes off at about 1030 every night and comes on at about five o'clock in the morning. Now I started doing that when I only had the two batteries. Right now I have four batteries. I just added two batteries to the system about a month ago, which increased it and that made a huge difference as far as uh, waking up, even just running the ceiling fans, the batteries haven't even been touched when I wake up. So everything there has been good. But when it was just the two batteries, it kept it from going down into 46 point to 46.3 in the morning uh, it'd be at uh, about 47 and a half 47.7 47.8 volts of course uh, when we woke up in the morning so that's something that I did um, now our water pump is basically it's a flow tech and it's done off of a pressure tank as well so it doesn't run all the time but when you flush the toilet or you use a little bit of water and that pressure tank goes down, the water pump kicks on and that draws power, but not near as much power as I was warned that one of these pumps was going to take. Now the pump I have, it's a Flowtech three-force 
horsepower way more than what I need but I got it because once again budget and it was really really good deal at the time when I got it so that's what I got so that being said 5k for us is more than enough and I like the fact that even with the inverter I can still add some more panels to get more voltage in to help charge the batteries faster which I really don't even need but as far as output right now it's completely fine and I can also get another EG4 and run it parallel and get even more power do I see myself doing that in the future Probably not, um, like I said, because all of this works fine. So um, why don't you come with me and I'll show you exactly what I have and what I'm running and, um, and just take it from there. I wanted to show you how I did my solar panel. So I have 12 410 watt solar panels. It gives me about just over 4,900 watts is uh, what these panels will do. So I have six of them, as you can see, they're facing straight up because I didn't have enough room on the hip roof. So I put six of them facing straight up, but uh, eight months out of the year, these get direct sunlight. The others are right here facing due south. So I have those six right there. And then these six right here. Like I said, these are facing south. These are facing straight up, but I've never had a hiccup with them. Uh, as you can see, that's where the sun would be right now this time of year, and it'll track all the way over there. So this right here is the solar inverter that we're running right now. EG4, 120, 240. Have had zero problems with this unit zero zero problems uh, it's a lot of the reviews I read said that it was pretty loud it's really not it's actually really really quiet this is located in the closet to the main room barely barely hear it it's got the primer for the batteries solar array input kill switch on off switch for the batteries I'm only running I got a solar bank of 20k is what I got right now and of course these were all used batteries they're not brand new but even as of used batteries I've had these for going on seven months now have not had a problem with these whatsoever so this is the unit once again like I said that I'm running you can see battery level 52.1 this is a really 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 good unit runs right up into the box Okay, so what we normally use on a daily basis, a floor fan, which we just keep that in here to circulate air. But also have the big screen TV inside of the AC unit. So all that is running off the solar system. A full size fridge with ice maker. On the top, ceiling fans. light fixtures but yeah all of this is running off this 5k unit fine no problems haven't had a hiccup uh, really only have to run the generator maybe one day if it's cloudy for about three days so other than that really like I said uh, so far 5k has been plenty for us I'm also running a well pump or a water pump I have a Flowtech. It's a 3 fourths horsepower pump. It's the main reason why I went with the EG4 120 240. And even when this thing kicks on, man, I got to tell you, it doesn't draw away from the inverter. You can't hear it trying to increase power or anything. This, this inverter, this system has really been doing an amazing job. Uh, so I'm going to give you an idea of my setup here. Okay, so right here is my AC unit. It's a sand key, 22 sear, energy efficient. It's a 12,000 BTU air condition. It's a split unit. As of yet, I have no issues running this on the system whatsoever. All right, so here's the two main things that are running off the inverter that are definitely pulling watts, 240. Uh, not as much watters as I thought it was gonna pull though. So I have the sand key, 
AC unit. That's a 22 sear, energy efficient. They're really recommended for solar. And that's a 12,000 BTU air condition. And then down here we have the Flowtech water pump. It's a three-fourths horsepower water pump. And that also runs 240. Uh, as you can see the pressure gauge because this doesn't run all the time this runs up into the pressure tank that I have here that's about a 25 gallon pressure tank so when this kicks on fills this up there's a bladder in there that keeps pressure on it and that's what fills the cabin so the two things that pull the most power here that I have on the cabin are definitely going to be this flow tech and the AC unit uh, but like I was saying it really doesn't pull enough to where I really even notice anything uh, hot water how I do hot water it's a hot water heater of course it's gas and of course a gas tank so that's what I'm doing out here so far Everything on this solar system has been great. Uh, the one thing I was worried about most was the water pump because everybody says that a water pump takes a lot of power. And I have to be honest with you, um, even at night when this water pump comes on and the ceiling fans with the lights are on, I don't get any dimming, I don't get anything. Um, so yeah, this system has been phenomenal. So like I said, uh, just do your research on things, but the two things uh, that I was really worried about on a solar system are this water pump, flow tech, three-fourths horsepower, and uh, AC unit split. And uh, surprisingly enough, works like a charm. The EG4 model that we're using is the 6000 EX 48 volt 120 240. We're only using about 4,900 watts of that because we only have the 12 panels, 410 watts each. That's about 4,900 input. So we're not even using its max capacity of this inverter and it's already actually more than we need. But like I said, we can add to it. We can add a couple more panels and get up to the 6K. Uh, I really recommend this inverter. Anybody who's looking to do solar, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try to get to them as soon as we can. And uh, thanks for watching. Please like, share this video. Hopefully this video can help somebody out there. And please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.